Hello, 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 everyone. I am Prophet Dr. Dana Reese, the Eagle Prophet Visionary. I want to thank you for coming and to my channel and watching this video. And I want to ask you to subscribe to my channel so that you will receive notifications of prophetic words that I will be releasing in the future. I try to release um, anywhere from one to two prophetic words every week. And so I want to share a word with you tonight. It, it's a simple word and it's not a long word, but it's, it's something that is going to bless you. And so God spoke to me today. He said, he, he spoke a simple sentence. He said, I am reconnecting disconnections. Let me say that again. He said, I am reconnecting that which has been disconnected. And so God spoke to me earlier today. Um, I went on Facebook Live tonight and did a live stream. And we prayed for our president. We prayed for our governmental leaders. Because we see even in our government that the enemy has come in to create disconnections. You see misunderstandings. You see name calling. You see all kinds of havoc and chaos right now in our government and so the enemy God spoke to me and he said that showed me that in the lives of, of many of you the enemy has come in to create disconnections misunderstandings and so I'm going to share a word with you it's not going to be a long word and then I'm going to pray for you tonight because I, I want to bless you with the anointing of the Holy Spirit tonight in Jesus name and so the enemy comes in to create disconnections in purpose in relationships in communications to, to disconnect you from your money to disconnect you from um, to, to try to disconnect you from following the will of God or the plan of God but Satan is a liar and so we see even in the book of Esther how Haman came in and try to destroy the Jewish people and create a disconnection. But we also see that Esther, Esther was a Jewish woman. She was a woman of God. She was married to the king of Persia. And he, you know, there's no indication that he even knew God. She may have been the only really true woman of God in that whole palace. But because of her prayer, because of her obedience, um, the Holy Spirit came in and that attempt to disconnect the Jewish people was aborted and then the reconnection was established because God's purpose for the Jewish people continued. And so what the enemy wants to do is he wants to disconnect people from God's purpose and plan and will for their life. But Satan is a liar. And so we see that God is a God of restoration. And so I'm going to pray for you in just a few minutes. And I'm going to pray that everything that the enemy has brought against you to try to create disconnection and disorder and chaos in your life is canceled in Jesus name, in Jesus name. So the definition of disconnect is to detach, disengage, unhook, unhitch, separate, sever and cut off to deactivate you know um, if you plug your your lamp the electrical cord into the power outlet if you unplug it it's disconnected your light is cut off so there's power in unity the Word of God says that uh, two are better than one and a threefold cord is not easily broken so God is a God of covenant He's a God of relationship. So the enemy wants to come in and create disconnections to disrupt power, to disrupt unity, to disrupt um, um, purpose from going forth. But we also see, when we look at the definition of reconnect, it means to reestablish a bond of communication or emotion the act or result of restoring a connection the state of being connected to join or be joined with something else again after becoming separated it also means to improve a relationship that has become less good or less 
close. It can also mean to connect a piece of equipment with the power supply after that connection has been broken to create a relationship with someone after a period of time. And so if you have experienced any kind of disconnection in any area, be it relationships, communications, uh, maybe um, you've experienced a disconnection um, to your money, to, to some kind of purpose or plan. Maybe the enemy has come in and tried to create distractions and delays and disruptions. I'm going to pray with you tonight. We're going to cancel that and break that. And it, angelic assistance and anointing and prayer is going to be released over your life. To, and, and doors are going to be opened. Um, misunderstandings are going to be cleared up. Wisdom is going to be released. And so I'm going to pray with you here in just a minute. But I want to take you to Isaiah chapter 58. Where it talks about um, restoration and that God uh, is the repairer of the breach. And so we see in Isaiah 58, I'm going to start with verse um Verse 10, well, I'm start with verse 9. Is this the kind of fast I have chosen? Only a day for people to humble themselves, and those who gather the grapes will drink it in the courts of my sanctuary, pass through, pass through the gates, prepare the way for the people, build up, build up the highway, remove the stones, raise a banner for the nations, the Lord has made proclamation to the ends of the earth. Say to daughter Zion, see your Savior comes. See his reward is with him and his recompense accompanies him. They will be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord, and you will be called sought after a city no longer deserted. And so we see that God is a repairer of the breach. And so I just decree and declare over your life that every breach is repaired, that every distraction, every disruption, every hindrance of the enemy is aborted in Jesus' name, that no weapon formed against you shall prosper in Jesus' name, I bind every delay, every disruption, every hindrance. In Jesus' name, and I lose wisdom, I lose peace. I prophesy, decree, and declare over your life that everything that has been disconnected will be reconnected speedily. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And I want to take you to 1 Samuel chapter 1. It talks about the story of Hannah and Penina. And so they were both married to the same man, Elkanah. And so Penina could, could birth children, but Hannah could not. And so Hannah was very grieved because she could not birth a child. And so Elkanah, her husband, gave her a double portion because he loved her and he was trying to comfort her. But she went um, to the house of the Lord where Eli the priest was. And so Eli saw her praying and he just observed her mouth and she was praying and her lips were moving, but her voice was not heard. And so Eli thought she was drunk and he said to her, how long are you going to stay drunk? Put away your wine. And she said, not so my Lord, I am a woman who is deeply troubled. I've not been drinking wine or beer. I was pouring out my soul to the Lord. Do not take your servant for a wicked woman. I've been praying here out of my great anguish and grief, as the Word of God says in 1 Samuel 1 15. So in 1 Samuel 1 verse 17, Eli answered, Go in peace, and may the God of Israel grant you what you have asked of him. And so she said, May your servant find favor. So she went on her way, and she did become pregnant. She birthed Samuel, and she dedicated him to the Lord. And we see in this passage, 
that Hannah was deeply troubled and deeply grieved because she was disconnected from something that she deeply wanted, which was a child. But when she went to Eli, the prophet, the priest, he blessed her and said, go in peace and may the God of Israel grant what you've asked of him. So as a prophet of the Lord, I speak, decree, and declare over your life, go in peace. May the God of Israel, may the Lord grant you what you have asked of him. I release an anointing for reconnection, that you are reconnected to that which you desire, that that which you're you're praying for, you're believing for, it shall be birthed, it shall be released, doors shall be opened, streams shall be released in the desert. And so I want everyone to lift your hands and say, Lord, I thank you for the reconnection. I thank you for granting the desires of my heart. I receive your wisdom, I receive your peace, I receive divine direction, and I praise you for it right now in Jesus' name. And so I want to ask you to sow, God spoke to me to ask you to sow a reconnection seed. If there is something that you're believing God to be reconnected to, maybe it's a relationship, maybe it's communication in a relationship. Maybe you have a prodigal son or daughter that has you haven't heard from in a while. Maybe there's a desire of your heart that you're believing to be released to you. Um, I want to ask you to sow a reconnection seed and a repair of the breach seed of either $58 or $24. If you want a prophetic coaching call, send me a seed of $95 and I will email you back with a time and a date where I will spend an hour with you doing coaching. I also offer customized coaching packages. So go to Prophet Dana Reese on PayPal or Prophet Dana Reese on Cash App. Sow your reconnection and repairing of the breach seed of either $95 or $58 or $24. If you sow a seed of $95, as I said, we will do a one hour prophetic coaching session many many people i've coached many people since i started doing this uh, about three months ago i'm telling you people are getting blessed and god is moving in a powerful powerful way but i pray for you i decree and declare that god is repairing every breach that god is reconnecting disconnections that god is opening doors that god is making ways for you that god is releasing money that God is releasing miracles, he's releasing healings, that every need that you have, I decree and declare that God is meeting that need exceedingly abundantly above all that you could dare to ask, hope, or think. So go to Prophet Dana Reese on PayPal or Prophet Dana Reese on Cash App, sow your seed of either $95 for your coaching call or $58 or $24 for something that you need to be reconnected to within 58 days or less. Some of you, it could it could happen next week, it could happen three days from now, but I prophesy, decree, and declare that your reconnection, uh, for those of you who sow the seed, that it shall happen within 58 days in Jesus' name. And today is July the 16th, so that's going to be around the middle of September. So, I love you with the love of Jesus. Go to my Facebook page and watch. You can watch my live stream from tonight where we prayed for our nation. And uh, I'll be releasing another prophetic word to you soon. I'll probably be coming on face, um, uh, YouTube live in the future and be doing live streams here. So send me your prayer request to prophetdanareese at gmail.com. I love you. I'm praying for you. I thank God for you. And I'll talk to you soon. God bless you. Bye-bye.